Well, hello there. Tom Green coming back at you with some CC 2014 goodness. And today's goodness involves the video workflow between Adobe Muse and Edge Animate. As I pointed out in the previous video, the suggested method for embedding video into a Muse page is to use either YouTube or Vimeo. The presumption is that you have either a YouTube or Vimeo account. What if you don't want to use those two and instead use a video you've shot with your camera, smartphone, or other video capture device? The solution is to look at Edge Animate and Adobe Muse as being nothing more than tools. Edge Animate CC 2014 has a spiffy new video feature and has had the ability to embed animate content into Muse for a very long time. So why not use Animate to package up the video you shot and drop that package into Muse? In the previous video in this two-parter, I reviewed how to create the video project in Animate using custom controls created in Illustrator and wire them up using the video snippets that can be applied to those controls. In this video, we package up the video project in Animate and add it to a Muse page. So let's get started. The key to making this whole thing work is in the Animate Publish settings right here in the File menu. And what you want is an Animate Deployment Package and you don't want the web. So we'll make sure that that is selected. And then what I'm going to do is just decide where I want to stick my package and that's this little custom target directory button here. I'm going to click it and I'm going to go over to my Muse folder right here on my desktop and I'm going to just say choose that and you can see there it is right there. You can name the file whatever you want. I'm going to go with uh, the file name. The request for a poster image right here might seem a bit odd, but it does have its uses. For example, if your video starts off with a black or white screen or bars, you might want to replace them with a screen grab from the video just to show there really is content there. The final choice right here is to host the runtime files on Adobe CDN, a content delivery network. In this case, I'm not interested in this option, so I'm just leaving it unselected. With everything ready to go, you are ready to publish the file. The Save button right here below the options, this is not your choice. All it does is save the choices you have made to the animate composition. Instead, come over here to the left and click the Publish button. When the process is finished, you can close the Publish settings, save the project, and quit Animate. If I pop over to the Muse folder, you can see the OAM file right here. Now, think of the OAM file as being nothing more than a zip file containing all the files necessary to play the composition in a web page. In fact, if you change the OAM extension to .zip, you'll see everything is in there. But just leave it alone and don't move it around. Okay, so let's get this into Muse. So I'm going to pop over to my Muse page. And as you can see, I'm currently in the plan view of Muse. To open the page, all I need to do is double click it, and there it is. To bring the video into the page, I simply select File, Place, navigate to my Muse folder, and there's the OAM file, and select it by clicking Open. The cursor changes to a loaded text cursor, and I just move it where I want the video to be placed and click once. And if I want to move it around on the page, I can just move the whole thing around. To see if this works, I select Test in the Browser or Preview Page in Browser. This will open Chrome. And there's my video. And if I click the Play button, it plays. And if I click the Pause button, it pauses. And if I click the Play button, it plays. Plays, and if I click the pause button, it pauses. From there, you can either publish the Muse file as HTML or shoot it over to Business Catalyst, which is Adobe's hosting server. So there you go. You're no longer tied to YouTube or Vimeo embeds, and instead, if you have a Creative Cloud account, you can use Edge Animate to create the video composition and package it up as an OAM file, which can be subsequently dropped into a Muse page. So break out your smartphone, GoPros, and other video cameras and create your own custom content for Muse.